John? Pretty good. How's the road been? Yeah, pretty slow. How's the water? What's that? The road's been slow. Oh, I, I had to be off for about a week to get my DOT physical. Oh, but okay. How's the water? Um, it's not bad. Pretty decent. I don't know. We uh, we've camped about eight years in a row up until last year at Lake Superior. Okay. And so the kids will go swimming for hours in a day. I've, I went one time. <laughs> I never did it again. It's it's pretty cold up there, but this is cold too. But uh. This is bad. Yeah, right, right in here. Pretty much. <laughs> mom, do you want to try mom? I know. Press. Dan Wolf was thinking. <laughs> 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 First verse of Amazing Grace, and then Dennis will lead in prayer. And as they walk out, we'll sing the third verse of Amazing Grace. And we'll sing it really slow because it's cold. Alright, <laughs> 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 with right, well, the first verse of Amazing Grace, if you brought yours, otherwise you should know it. So. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. I was, was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see.
Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, folks, we are here to uh, celebrate the baptism of these four, and I've asked each one of them, uh, we met with them, and we heard their testimonies of salvation, and each understood the purpose of baptism, and I've asked each one of them if they would share uh, their salvation testimonies with you, and so if we're not buried, uh, as we go down in the sand before the end, uh, we'll hear them all. So, Ron, if you would start us. Good morning, everybody. Um, my journey to Christ started two years ago when my uh, wife passed away. Uh, she died of alcoholism. Um, after that, I found a very special friend in Jody who had been saved and had found Christ in her life. Uh, Jody welcomed me to her church, Crossroads. Community Church in Sheboygan, and she welcomed me to those services to go with her. She welcomed me to her baptism uh, that occurred about a year and a half ago. And through those experiences, I met people who were saved, including Jody. And I saw something very special in saved people. It's what I wanted to be. Um, I honestly didn't know how that all happened. I knew it was something I wanted. I knew uh, these people were strong, they were calm, they were different than a lot of people that I knew in life. And it's something that I wanted to be, but I didn't really know how that happened. How that, how is this going to happen to Ron? Um, Crossroads Community Church is a great church, but it's a very, very big church. And I'm not a big fan of big crowds, so um, although I could have probably gotten my answer right there at that church in being involved in some of the uh, meetings that they have in smaller groups. Um, I just felt a compelling urge to, to go look for an answer to the questions I had. And it came down to a simple Google search looking for a Bible church that maybe I could call my own that I would feel comfortable in. And the first one that came up was the Manual Bible Church. And when I went to Emmanuel Bible Church uh, the first day, I had communicated to Jody how excited I was. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't, really didn't know. Um, and I can't tell you the welcoming feeling that I had when I walked in that church. The people that wanted to know my name, the people that wanted to know who I was, who I was in Christ, who I wanted to be in Christ. And it was at that point that I started hearing the teachings of Pastor Kurt and understanding that some very small phrases in the Bible relate to some very big meaning in life and uh, the life of Christ and, and how we should be believers. Um, it was shortly after that, I think in January, that I met Pastor Kurt down at the Weather Center, a restaurant on the Sheboygan River, and had told Pastor Kurt that I didn't know what the feeling was. Is it, is it my proficiency in scripture? Is it the church I go to? Is it, you know, I, I, I know I'm a believer, but I, I don't know the other elements of, of being saved, and he made it very simple for me. We read the chapter in the Bible. Um, I realized I was saved. I realized that Jesus Christ was my Savior, Savior, and died for my sins, and therefore I became saved. Amen. Amen. So, Ron, um, you and I have talked a couple times about baptism. What is the purpose for baptism? In other words, why are we going out here into the water and practicing this, this event? I'm publicly symbolizing my faith. Does baptism save you from your sin? Does uh, the fact that you're going under the water help you to get to heaven? It does? I'll die under water. When I rise, okay. I will live again. So it symbolizes what's already happened in your life. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right, Joshua. Can you talk to your wife? Do the best, okay? So this is Joshua Vincent, Gypsum and Sarah Vincent's seven-year-old son. And um, we, Maria and I have visited them at their home and heard his testimony of salvation, talked to him about baptism, 
and he, I'm convinced he does understand all that he needs to to be baptized. And so he has um, his testimony written out and is going to read it for you as loudly as he possibly can. Okay. Thank you, Joshua. All right, so Joshua, how old were you when you prayed and asked Jesus to save you? Okay, so Joshua was five years old about two years ago when he, a little less than two years ago, when he prayed to ask Jesus to save him. So Joshua, um, do you want to be baptized today? Yes, okay. Very good. So, uh, let's see. So, oh, I blew it. Oh, I thought I had it. Oh, all right, Luke, please uh, share your testimony. Uh, I was uh, seven years old, and uh, we had just got home. It was Wednesday, and we, just, we had just got home from church. And uh, I asked my parents why I couldn't have communion. And they said that I had to be saved and trust Jesus with my life. And they told me about it. So I thought about it, and the next day I decided to trust Jesus. Since we are twins, a lot of people are the same. A lot of people are the same. Since we are twins, a lot of people are similar. Same with the so I was seven and I asked the same question why I couldn't have communion. And they, they told me why and that they were good for Adam, which lays out the plan of salvation. And the next day, Luke got saved and I saw this got saved and I felt the need to have Jesus. Alright, so Luke, uh, what in your understanding is the purpose of baptism. Um, to uh, symbolize uh, that you are saved. Okay. So, in case you didn't hear, he answered that question. He said it's baptism is symbolic of salvation. Um, Jonah, how old were you when you trusted Christ? Okay. All right. Very good. So, we're going to do this now. Uh, you will sing a stanza of Amazing Grace, and the five of us are going to walk part way out in the water. We'll baptize Joshua first, and then we'll go a little deeper and uh, baptize the rest. So, Robin, if you would lead us in a stanza. Okay. Thank you. 
Let's close in prayer, and then we'll be dismissed, and we'll go up for the picnic. Our Father, we <clears throat> are grateful beyond words for salvation, for Jesus Christ, for His death, for His shed blood, for His resurrection. We are thankful that You have saved these who have just been baptized. And we pray for them that in the next days and weeks, months and years, that they would remain faithful to you and walk in newness of life just as we've practiced. Lord, we pray for all of us who are here. Lord, we have, uh, so many of us been baptized. Help us all to walk in newness of life. Might we all be following Christ saying no to the old life and yes to what you are doing in us and through us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Head on up.